ya World Cup Series World Cup Series updates jeto atandi sawano uh, kupa one extra your number one leading media group uh, look out for episode one episode two episode three episode uh, one to akora group A episode uh, two ne to akora group B episode three ne to akora group C there to to akora to li ko ko to get at no lira ko episode four group D today we're looking at group D uh, World Cup series 2022 Qatar World Cup power one extra uh, we come here ko number one the media group yeah group D first game we have Denmark. Denmark versus Tunisia. Denmark, uh, uh, Tunisia. It's, uh, uh, Denmark has high chances of uh, winning this game uh, compared to Tunisia. Denmark has a better squad compared to Tunisia, so Denmark uh, will go ahead and win this game comfortably. I'm um, seeing Denmark collecting all the three points from this game. It's the first game in. It's the. It's going to be. It's the first game in Group D. And France versus Australia will be uh, played later on. So, looking at Denmark squad, we have Kaspar Schmeichel. Kaspar Schmeichel uh, is the son to uh, uh, the legendary goalkeeper. Son to the legendary goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel. Uh, we all remember Peter Schmeichel <coughs> at Man- Man- Manchester United. He went ahead. And won the Champions League. He's uh, he's a very decorated a decorated goalkeeper. So his son is representing Denmark. Look out for uh, Kasper Schmeichel. Look out for Simon Ja. Simon Ja is a number five with S Milan. Plays with S Milan. He's a good defender. Some of the stars in the Danish squad. Look out for Christian Eriksen. Christian Eriksen is back. Uh, playing football, we, we all remember what happened to him in the previous Euro Euros uh, national football tournament. So Christian Eriksson is back playing playing football. Uh, he's, he got a strange attack on on the field playing in you know, the previous Euros, and he was away from football for uh, some long time. But now he's recovered very well. Plays for Manchester United. So also local for Christian Eriksson, Denmark. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, um, uh, most people will look at Denmark to go ahead and win. Same, same from my side. Denmark is going to win this game comfortably. And Tunisia look out for Wahabi Kazri. Wahabi Kazri, Wahabi Adia Kufra, Kufra Tawa, Ira Kucho Tawa, Gawu Tanya, and Onyama Gul. Tunisia side look out for Wahabi Kazri. Yeah. Denmark Tunisia first game group D. Look forward to it. It's going to be, I can promise you, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, France, France versus Australia group D. We're still looking at group D. France versus Australia uh, will be the second game to be played in group uh, in group D. Uh, later on after Denmark Tunisia. So looking at France, France versus Australia, uh, everyone can. Uh, world champions. Uh, they are France is the reigning world champion, so uh, they have good a good uh, good squad. When you look at France, they are, they have a, a very very good squad ahead and win uh, each match. Uh, they will collect all the three points. And uh, looking at France, looking at France, they they've had a few changes uh, compared from their previous World Cup. Uh, from the from the previous World Cup tournament, so you see we uh, Golo Kante is injured, Paul Pogba is missing. Um, uh, Paul Veran is back. Uh, Antonio Griezmann is in. Uh, we, we can see Hernandez, Hernandez brothers, they both being called up. Uh, Theo Hernandez didn't play. Uh, he's from the previous World Cup when they won when they were world champions but this time around the Hernandez brothers are in both of them faces we're going to miss in the World Cup especially N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante was a fan favorite in previous World Cup when France went ahead and won the tournament. Uh, so they, are, uh, they will put up a fight by uh, I'm predicting for France to go ahead and win this game. Uh, uh, looking at France 
looking at France, uh, Samuel Omtiti. Samuel Omtiti also, uh, we're going to miss him this World Cup. Uh, all the, the faces we're going to be missing uh, in France, in the French squad, um, most of these guys, uh, they are all injured. They are injured, so expect to see uh, new, new, new exciting faces. Uh, the likes of Eduardo Camavinga, uh, the likes of uh, Lid, uh, Lilian Tulam, uh, Tulam, the son to the legend Lilian Tulam. Expect to see Theo Hernandez, that's also a new face to watch out for. Theo Hernandez plays for AC Milan. Uh, expect to see uh, Usman Dembele, Usman Dembele, France. Uh, he represented last time, but he didn't get. Uh, much playing time but I'm sure this time around he's going to be he's going to be playing uh, to be given lots of minutes to play uh, to exhibit his uh, talent so look out for Osman Dembele uh, Kylian Bampe uh, sure deal he's a star tournament star uh, some of the stars uh, some of the stars you expect to watch out for in group D some of the stars in group D um, Group D Mujim Bastavanji, Bastavanji. Number one, Kilian Bampe. Kilian Bampe, you will all remember Kilian Bampe uh, from the previous World Cup. Uh, he's a big, big, big star. He's a national hero. We hope France uh, win their second World Cup in history. So Kilian Bampe uh, is a reigning World Cup medalist, champion. Uh, so Kilian Bampe for France plays for France. Uh, he plays. Uh, as an attacker, he is a good goal scorer. He can play both uh, uh, wing and uh, mid, mid, uh, mid front. So Kylian Mbappe. Uh, we also have Usman Dembele. We now have, we all know Usman Dembele at Barcelona. He can play number seven. He can play uh, number eleven. He can play in all position at the front. So the the unique uh, thing. The unique part of uh, Osman Dembele, he has a unique feature. Uh, he's also not sure which uh, which uh, legs, he, which leg is comfortable for him to play the ball. He can play uh, with his left, also he can play with his uh, right uh, right leg. So he's not sure which side is better than uh, uh, which one. So uh, Osman Dembele is very talented. He's got an eye for goal. He's a uh, he's a uh, He's a very skillful uh, young man, so look out for uh, Osman Dembele. Look out for Osman Dembele. Uh, group D. Uh, we also have Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez plays uh, left wing. He plays for AC Milan. He's a good, good, good uh, number three. He plays uh, Bakala in your as a Bakala in your uh, uh, box. Fuga pack up a box. In a shot, he's a, he's a good shot short taker uh, he's, he's, he's a very very strong man uh, Theo Hernandez brother to Hernandez uh, another Hernandez uh, we got two Hernandez brothers uh, play uh, one plays for S Milan and the other plays for uh, Bayern Munich but this time around they are all going to represent France uh, we also got Antonio Griezmann plays for uh, Atletico Madrid we remember Antonio Griezmann in the past World Cup they went on France went on to win uh, the tournament uh, we, we go Kasper Schmeichel son to the legendary uh, Peter Schmeichel we go Simon Ja a Milan uh, a defender we go Christian Eriksson from Denmark uh, Simon Ja plays for uh, Denmark Kasper Schmeichel Denmark uh, we remember we're looking at the stars we should, you should be looking forward to seeing group D uh, all the stars Ziri for Tunisia so uh, those are some of the stars you expected to see in group D so look for uh, uh, all for all the matches from group D they're gonna be exciting uh, matches you should stick uh, stick your eyes on uh, screen power one extra we bring you all the best from the uh, from fifa qatar world cup 2022 uh, so keep yourself keep yourself locked in here on power one extra you're leading our media group 
tugenda kuba tukuletera updates zona okuva kata zona updates ebigende kuba what's going to happen what we expect to happen what it's happening at the moment all the updates from kata 2022 keep yourself locked in on par 1 extra your number one leading media group see you on to the next one tomorrow we we'll bring you group e group e tomorrow kata world cup 2022 updates here on power one extra group e tomorrow don't forget <laughs>